Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at bokeh. Let's get started. So it's been a while since we've been done some bokeh charting and I've had a couple people ask for some um, help with creating some a little bit more complicated plots but particularly it comes down to um, just actually some very simple things. Okay and this is just about uh, data streaming. So I'm going to go on and open up. Actually I don't want to open up. I'm going to actually just create something new. Um, and let's call this something like a bokeh a streaming example two. Okay, because we already have a bokeh streaming example one. And what we're going to be doing is get our basic plots coming in. So from bokeh.plotting, we're going to import in here figure and kurdoc. Uh, because again, to do the streaming data, we're definitely going to be needing. Um, our um, our server, our bokeh server. So the next thing we're going to be doing, and this is some uh, just some helper functions. Uh, we haven't used this before. So uh, bokeh dot driving uh, import linear. And what this is actually going to do, this is going to provide some decorators. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with decorators here, and they're very useful for repeated updating. Okay, um, so this is going to be a little bit of an update to what we've been doing. Uh, previously, okay. Now, um, in in in, spef in specifically, okay, it's going to be um, a function parameter that is going to be specified for us, and uh, each time the function is going to be called, okay. So when it's going to be updating, it's going to be doing this for us. Now, these decorators are going to be especially useful in conjunction with our periodic uh, periodic callbacks, okay. Uh, and then the next thing we're going to be doing is import random. Because uh, we're going to make up some random data. So uh, first off, um, let's create a figure. Uh, yeah, p is equal to figure uh, plot width here is going to be. Let's make it um, 800 uh, plot height uh, is going to be. Let's do 400. Um, P and then out here this is um, this is going to be the new thing for us and let me uh, maybe zoom in a little bit for you guys. Um, so this is going to be um, new. Well, this is not necessarily new, but this is going to allow us to um, uh, uh, kind of follow the data. Okay. So allowing us to follow new data. So we'll do something like p dot x range uh, dot follow is equal to end. Then we'll do something like p dot x range uh, dot follow um, interval is equal to, and let's make it something like um, 20. And this is going to be like a maybe if we're doing time series data, this would be like 20 milliseconds or something like that. Um, and we can make it, make it 200. We'll, we'll, we'll mess with it here in a little bit. Um, and then we'll do something like p dot x range uh, dot range padding is equal to zero. Um, because again, we want it to kind of start at zero whenever it starts. It's not going to have any little bit of padding in there um, at the beginning. Um, and, we'll, and again, maybe we'll play with these as we go. And then let's go on and um, create up our lines. So I'll say something like a uh, line one is equal to p dot line, and we'll make them some empty uh, because we're going to be uh, putting in some random data. Uh, and we'll here do something like color is fire brick, one of our favorites. Our line width here is going to be three. Um, we'll have line two. Oh, and this is basically going to be. Uh, the same thing, but our color here will be uh, navy. Again, another one of our favorites. Uh, and we'll do line width is equal to three as well. So they'll be nice and bold kind of on, on the screen. Um, now let's do our data set one. Uh, we don't really need the comments on this one. Data set one is equal to. Uh, line one dot data source uh, ds2 is equal to line two dot data source 
Um, and then here's where we're using our dec decorator, so linear. Uh, and then we need to uh, actually define our, uh, our data here. Okay, so basically this is creating our data set. So uh, we'll be doing a stepwise. Um, so ds1 dot data x um, dot append step, and then we'll do something like a ds1 dot data y dot append. Um, let's do random dot rand int zero to uh, now, so if you wanted to do, um, I've been playing with too much JavaScript recently for my comments there. Um, this, uh, you can think about this as time, okay? And then here, uh, you can think about this as like stock price, okay? Now, I'm, this isn't going to be formatted uh, with, no, with no formatting for now. Um, just because um, in the previous uh, videos in this type of series, we've actually talked about that. Right now, I just want to get it done and uh, kind of get this out to you guys. So let's do uh, ds2.data.x. Um, and again, dot append step. step. Uh, and then we'll do ds2.data.y.append random dot rand int of zero oops and 100 uh, and then let's do we need to actually trigger this so ds1 dot trigger data uh, ds1 dot data ds1 dot data um, then we'll need a ds2 dot trigger data uh, ds2 dot data ds2 dot data okay and that's enough for our update function now we need curdoc dot add root of p here uh, and then we need uh, to add our periodic callback and we should be done Okay, so our periodic callback here, let's do uh, curdoc.add uh, periodic callback, and we want um, our update function, and we want to do this maybe every 500 milliseconds. Okay, so uh, mm, here, and let's go on and do what? Bokeh serve, and we'll do bokeh streaming example 2.py and then I'm going to go then go and this will be at a local host and for me it'll be at uh, 5006 and let me open that up and then there we go okay and you can see that this is nice now and it's following the end was what our goal was here uh, and then here we actually have um, a lot of uh, then it's starting at zero and again you can technically you can scroll backwards which is kind of nice okay and see here you can see where it started at zero okay and then um, if we want we can go back and eventually you'll be able to catch up with it see and it'll go okay if you guys like this please comment subscribe and hit that like button and I will see you guys next time bye bye